let's discuss question 66 the characteristics and an example of a synovial joint in humans is now we know that synovial joints are freely movable joints now in this we have four options the first one is fluid filled between two joints provides a cushion and the example given is skull bones now in these skull bones the type of joint is fibrous joint and it is not a synovial joint at all so it is a fibrous joint so this cannot be our answer the next one is fluid filled synovial cavity between two bones and the joint between atlas and axis this is certainly an example of synovial joint and at the joint there is a synovial fluid filled in which provides the lubrication for the easy movement so this is of course the answer the other options we can see lymph filled between the two bones now this becomes wrong because of the word lymph over here because lymph is a tissue fluid not a fluid between the joints although the example gliding joint between carpals that is certainly a synovial joint but the characteristics are wrong the fourth fluid cartilage between two bones limited movement so limited movement again makes it wrong and there is not a fluid cartilage rather it's a fluid which is simply the synovial fluid the example of a synovial joint is knee joint but again the characteristics are wrong so the only correct option is the option 2 so our answer is 2 so after this let's move on to the next question question number 67 so now let's discuss question number 67 now in the case of the spirogera the type of sexual reproduction which is present that is isogamous that is the two gametes which are fusing they are morphologically similar and these two gametes they are without the flagella they are non-flagellated now coming to the wall box in the wall box sexual reproduction is oogamous type where male gametes possess flagella and female gamete is non-flagellated now in the fucus again oogamous reproduction male gamete is flagellated female is without the flagella now coming to the chlamydomonas in the chlamydomonas all the type of sexual reproduction is present so various type they are present in the chlamydomonas it means the gametes they can be flagellated or they can be non-flagellated both condition can be there so in this question we have to find one organism where the reproduction is isogamous and flagella is absent in the gametes for this the right option is pyrogera so means for the question number 61 the right answer is one here so let's discuss question number 68 here so in this question number 68 we have to see that this figure is representing which stage of the cell division and what are the major characteristics associated with it now the first option here is late anaphase you know this very well that in the anaphase the chromosomes they move towards the opposite poles daughter chromosomes they move towards the opposite poles but in this figure the identity of the chromosome is not there now coming to the cytokinesis cytokinesis is division of cytoplasm now in the case of the plant division of cytoplasm it occurs with the help of the cell plate method and in the animals it is cleavage method now this is an animal cell right so animal cell can the kya hona chahi? what should be there in the animal cell it is the cleavage method but in this option what is given that is the cell plate is formed now coming to the next one telophase you know that telophase is just reverse of prophase in the telophase there is formation of nuclear membrane endoplasmic reticulum and golgi bodies but what is written here endoplasmic reticulum nucleolus they are not yet reformed now last option telophase 
न्यूक्लियर एनवेलप रिफॉर्म्स गोल्जी कॉम्प्लेक्स एनोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम न्यूक्लियोलस दे अगेन फॉर्म सो इट इज वेरी वेल विजिबल हियर टू डॉटर न्यूक्लियाई formation of the nuclear membrane along with that rest of the organelles they will also reappear here it means for this question number 68 the right option is 4 so in this question number answer is 4 so now let's discuss question number 69 here So now let's start for the question number sixty-nine. In this question, we have to see amongst these four options which one does not possess thin and membranous seed coat. So if we talk about the maize, in the maize, membranous seed seed coat is there. Gram, groundnut, also the condition is same. Only in the case of the coconut, the seed coat which is present that is thick. So it means the right option here is one. So for the question number sixty-nine, answer is one. So now I will be discussing next question seventy here. Question number seventy. Let's discuss it. The diagram given here is the standard ECG of a normal person. The P wave represents. Now this is the standard ECG drawn over here. and in this these four options are initiation of ventricular contraction now initiation of ventricular contraction occurs after the beginning of the q wave then beginning of the systole so that is usually the ventricular systole again it starts after the q wave end of systole that is ventricular systole if we are talking about so that continues up till the t wave the fourth one contraction of both the atria now when the p wave appears it is the depolarization of the atria which results in the contraction of both the atria so this becomes the nearest choice and our answer would be 4 option 4 is the correct answer now let's move on to question number 71 